I'm eating popcorn. Pause me now. Go get your rations, food, water, get something to pee in, bucket, whatever. It's gonna be a long ass video. Getting ready. I had a big pasta dinner last night, get me ready. Carb it up. Just warning y'all. I'm gonna edit this shit. It's gonna be super long. Get ready. Oh my god, mystery people. There's so much to talk about. So much. Um I don't even know where to start. No idea where to start. Made notes. Probably didn't keep up with the notes all that well. Drinking from my skull cup. There's alcohol in it to keep me going. This cannot drink. No. I'm one of those people that I'll get up on a table and dance or go and do crazy stuff and not have to have any alcohol in me. So I just wonder what kind of person I would be if I did drink. So Vegas, I'm crazy enough, no alcohol. Um, no, I'm not a recovering alcoholic. Pause it. Lovely kids. Anyway, um, not a recovering alcoholic. Um, grew up in an alcoholic home and learned at a young age that it just was something that wasn't anything I wanted to get into. Um, now, like when we did go to Vegas over the weekend, my husband drinks just socially. Um, but we have no alcohol here in the house. Um, and I will take sips of his drink. Um, but I will never order a drink specifically for me. Um, so my drink of the night when I go out or we go out, um, Shirley Temple's straight up. As many cherries as you can shove in the glass. That's me. So, um, let me just... I'll just start on my list because I got notes for days. Um, I don't even know. Ugh, I don't know. I'm going to be all over the place. Last video, Abby from Bella Stitch commented on my um, Barbie clothes that my grandma had made um, that I used when I was younger. Those are here in shadow boxes. Abby, so I have those and I have more as well, but I didn't have any of the shadow box, any more shadow boxes. Um, then when I went to um, the Northwest beginning of the year, I was born in Portland and a lot of my family still up in that area. Um, an aunt, I guess my mom's aunt, um, was being transferred out of her house into um, an assisted living kind of facility and she gave us the okay to kind of take whatever we wanted and I definitely wanted to get up there um, because I knew that she sewed um, and I kind of wanted her sewing machine because there was probably a high chance it belonged to my great great grandmother um who no great grandmother one great um who came over from italy and did not speak one lick of english while she was alive here in the u.s um so i have what my grandma gave me my great grandmother crocheted knitted um this huge sock um so i received one and my grandma has the other one um 
and we were predicting that this was probably knitted maybe 80 years ago, um, maybe even more, um, or actually not 80, God, sorry, um, less than that, maybe 60 to 70 years ago. So um, it's in great condition. So I have this, and then I also received my great grandmother's. Um, this is just amazing because this was something that she was still working on. Um, and obviously she never got to finish it, but I feel really connected to her when I hold this because this was something that she held and she put time into. Um, and so I just love that I have it. Um, and so, yeah, so she, she, still, she was still working on it. Um, and I have a shelf, two shelves up here and I display it up on the one. And then there was this other one she was working on as well. Um, and all of her needles here. And then I, when we were going through the house, I also came across um, more of her needles. And I love that she kind of did like these braiding um, straps for them. So I just have this in like a glass vase up on another shelf over there to kind of display them. Not sure, we're not sure whose pin cushion this is. This either could be my mom's aunt's um, or it could be my great grandma's as well. So I have this up on the shelf as well and haven't taken any pins out or added any, just kind of left it even with some of the thread, just left it as is. Um, and then my mom's aunt um, also sewed here and there and she kind of was a hoarder of some items. Um, and so I got a ton of buttons and I kind of went through them all. Um, I want to do a project with, some, with something. I know there's a ton of ideas like on Pinterest what to do with extra um, buttons and whatnot, but I just love to display them in this glass jar. Um, and when, when I was going through the buttons, there are keys to a 1966 Chevelle. Um, so I have the keys to them. Stock number, the year, make, model, and license, and the color was blue. So um, all kinds of all kinds of great stuff. Um, so there you go, Abby. Just a few of the things that I thought I would show you. Um, let me mark it off my list. Um, I'll definitely be editing this video because it's going to run a heck of a lot longer than the 30 minutes that I usually um, keep my videos at. And at the very end of the video, um, this might be something that Abby and Michelle from Cozy Egg and Emily over at Eclectic Possessions, I have a um, our guest bathroom. I have done in a very kind of dark, um, morbid kind of style. Um, so I'll put that clip all the way at the end. I call it my medical bathroom and you will see why. And I had asked about Michelle from Cozy Egg in her last video or one of her last videos. Behind her, she has some um, skulls on her table and I absolutely love them and they would fit perfectly into my bathroom. So careful Michelle may come over and, and break into your house and jack those. Um, shout outs, let's do a quick few shout outs. Um, mm -hmm. Marlene Bush, she's a new uh, person to floss tube, super cute, um, older gal, and she's recently had hand surgery. Um, and she talks about how, you know, the doctor told her that she couldn't stitch and she was a rebel and took off her splint so she could put in a couple stitches. So love her for that. Um, her finishes, she makes into these gorgeous bags. Um, and then she put out a new video today as well. So she's just under the name Marlene Bush. 
I will put everything, all the info for this next however long video all down below in the description. So go ahead and check her out. Um, Stitchy Bex, B-E-X. She's a seven-year-old girl. Um, she's so cute, so enthusiastic um, about her stitching. She loves owls, it seems like, and so she kind of shows off all of her owls um, that she stitched or wants to stitch. Uh, and she's cute and adorable, and so is her sister that makes an appearance. But the true winner of the video is her cat at the very end. Um, totally makes the little video that she made, and I think her mom helped her. Um, Kiwi Flawa. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, it'll be down below. Um, she has a ton of mirrors that she has worked on. Um, gorgeous ones that are in progress right now. Her style is more primitive. Um, and she has some gorgeous pieces of those as well. And she's also doing the year of whips. I'm not sure if she's new to floss tube, um, or maybe I just, um, recently discovered her, but at least I did. And let's see. Um, I know Terry Stitching Petunia always makes a shout out to William. So hi, William. Um, I'll have to get Pepe next time. Uh, Pepe's taking a little siesta currently. Um, but I'll have to get Pepe William next time to come and, and say hi to you. So hi to William all the way in Australia. <sighs> Many a Mirabilia. Cross-stitching Facebook group uh, made by... Um, Jonna and Terry. If you like mirrors, join it. If you like um, Nor Corbert, Corbert, go and join the group. I think they've had great success on getting all kinds of members. I've definitely joined. Um, but kind of, yeah, giving each other support and helpful tips. And if you've wanted to start one, but you're overwhelmed, um, I think it's a great group to kind of look at people's work and ask questions and maybe, hey, you know, what's the easiest one that I should start on? Um, or what about doing this one for my first one? Or I've run into this problem for this. Um, so go ahead and check them out. That's Many and Mirabilia on Facebook. Um, but let's see. Floss tube videos galore as I was gone. Now, I was only in Vegas for a day. We only spent one night there. Um, we left early Friday morning, got back about late afternoon on Saturday. And you guys must have just decided, hey, this is when I'm gonna make my videos. So of course I'm subscribed to a lot of you. Um, so my phone is just, going crazy while we're out and about in Vegas. Um, I go to the restroom and my phone's going crazy. Um, and I know when a new video is put up um, because it makes a certain noise and my phone vibrates and then it says, you know, watch now um, or put in my watch later list. Um, and so of course I was doing watch later for all of all the uh, notifications coming up. But it was hilarious because um, some of my favorite people put up videos and I just wanted to stay sitting there in the restroom and like start watching them. Um, so you guys are killing me. So last night um, I binge watched, I don't know how many stayed up till past midnight stitching and watching you guys trying to get caught up. Um, Cause I'm gonna be gone. Now I leave this Wednesday and I'll be gone until Sunday. My girlfriend in Sacramento always throws this crazy um, Halloween party and this is the fifth year in a row that I've gone out um, to attend it. 
and it's kind of a joke now because everyone that shows up to this Halloween party remembers me. Um, and so it's like, I have to go because I'm the only one that comes in from out of state. So it's kind of this annual thing. Um, and that baby buggy, um, cross stitch that I did for my girlfriend. She had her baby a little more than a month ago. So I'm going to go out and meet the baby for the first time. So super excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to that trip on Wednesday. I leave and again, I'll be busy and not have time to watch floss tube. So I'll get inundated with all kinds of videos from you guys, but that's okay. Um, just happy to see everyone's stitching and working on their favorite pieces and nice and healthy and all of that jazz. So, all right, popcorn time. Maybe I should like edit in like little intermissions. So then you guys can like go to the bathroom or something. So, okay. What, you're gonna see me choke on popcorn. Finish um, Tracy P for her birthday because she's like a national treasure, Tracy. I think we should get her up on Mount Rushmore. Take one of them down and throw Tracy's mug up there. So I'm a part of her group to do um, Primitive Hairs Stitching Sisters, Sister Stitchers, the free pattern. Um, so I finished this and this is what I will be sending. And of course, you know, I'm in a mini skirt and red heels because I'm wearing heels a lot with the kids at Costco, doesn't matter. And then we got Tracy over here. She kind of strikes me more of like jeans and t-shirt kind of gal. Um, so she's got her jeans, got her t-shirt. And then I just think when she walks into a room that she just has like this glow about her and like fireworks going off behind her. Um, and she's on a pedestal people. So I had to put her on a pedestal. So that's what I'll be sending Miss Tracy for her birthday. Um, oh my God, I'm just gonna start a pile. I bought this the other day, uh, cause it's sitting here, so I might as well show you. Um, right now I have my orders for my store on Amazon, which thank you guys so much for ordering um, again and again, totally appreciate it. Um, magnetic board, Michaels, 12 bucks. It was in like the 60% off, loved it, cause it's like the rulers. So yeah, I'm gonna hang that up. Um, Cause you guys know, I've been on this crazy buying spree because when the husband buys a boat, diamond earrings aren't enough. You gotta really give it to him, stick it to him. Um, and since I'm not working fire anymore, I'm basically retired. That's what I tell people, I'm retired. 30 and retired. I should write a book. How, how to be retired by the age of 30. I think it would be a good seller, huge. So, um, yeah, I've been on this crazy buying spree and I'm not gonna do my one, two, three yet. Let's see, I'm not gonna do what I bought in Vegas. Um, okay, let me see here. Just admire the top of my head or whatever is behind me. Um, can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can hear that or not. We have Justin Bieber. So my four and six year old know how to work YouTube because kids nowadays are just born with knowing how to turn off and control electronics. Uh, my six-year-old absolutely loves Michael Jackson. He wants us to take him to Vegas to go see the show in Vegas. My four-year-old loves David Copperfield. He wants to take us, he wants us to take him there to go see the show. Uh, but they love dancing, love singing. So now I have soul train going on back in their playroom. Um, Holidays Remembered, got this book, thrift store. Um, I have a few of these. Um, 
things remembered hard. And there are some awesome ones in here. Um, sorry, here, Justin Bieber, I gotta start dancing. The switch is pretty cool. I kind of like, just like Santa's, I like more of the old world Santa's. Um, and I kind of like the older vintage sort of looking Halloween. Um, so the witch, um, this girl, she, I don't know. She stole my style. Look at that. I'm going to cross stitch that sucker on a shirt. Look at that. And then I'm going to find a plastic bird. Look at that. Um, this is cool for autumn. So yeah, a lot of great things in this book. Total score. Um, let's see. When there's some horrible people on Stitch Mania because they tell you how, oh, there's a great sale. Heed's having, Heed's having a sale and of course, then you have to go over and look, and then the next thing you know, you got a huge box coming to you. Um, so got these on, I don't know how to say it, Hirschner's? Is that how you say it, Hirschner's? When they had the 99 cents and, and 99 cent magazines, and then they had 99 cent um, download PDFs. Um, so got three of their magazines for 99 cents, some gray ones. And now looking at these, okay. Well, those two would be, no, it's okay. Cross stitch, cross stitchers. Okay. I'll let you know what that whole thing was about, but no, loved these um, great patterns in there. Also at the cross stitch or at the thrift store, found more magazines, a whole boatload. Um, these are the ones I saved. Um, and I believe I put 17 of them up on um, stash unload. So if you're interested, look on over. So got a ton of those. I'm not gonna flip through them. Screw it. Um, what else did I get from Hirschner's? And I know Terry, Terry's watching this and she's, look, Terry, I never told you, I never said, hey, what are my kids listening to? I don't know. I never said that I would never do Amira. Amira's my thing. Not really. Um, I mean, they're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I would love to have one. Um, coming in like my front entrance of, of my home all beat it up and whatnot. I think they're gorgeous and the people that do them um, are definitely on a different stitching level than I am. I guess I would see that I would get bored with it perhaps because I'm not a full coverage person and I know Mira's aren't full coverage. I'm reason thinking that whole drinking thing with kids. So I know Mira's aren't full coverage, but they're so detail heavy that I think I would just get bored with it or really antsy or you spend so much time and you see very little progress. Um, so I don't know. They're just not for me. But... I found, I don't know why I went on that tangent. Anyway, so Terry, you should be all excited because I got Victorian Christmas Eve designer by Nora Corbett. So this might be the closest thing to a Mira. Who knows? So got this, 99 cents. Um, I guess I decided it would be easy for me for my first time. Um, I know you can hear that. So, 
I think this will be doable. There's not a ton. I mean, there's a lot of threads for it, but it's not crazy. Um, and I think I'll be able to do it because the block that I would be doing, I could probably easily just finish all the colors for that thread in that block and move on. Um, so yeah, so Victorian Christmas Eve, this is probably the least expensive items from my shopping binge that I have done. Um, the husband was probably hoping I would stay in the 99 cent category. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. What does Danielle say? A lot of nope on that. Yeah, ton, ton of nope on that. Clouds Factory came out with um, mini artist galleries, Frida Kahlo. Hello, I love Frida. My little shrine of her up there. I uh, went to, when I lived in the Sacramento area, I went over to San Francisco when her pieces um, were traveling around and they were amazing. So when I saw this on Clouds Factory, that they came out with a Frida. Um, yeah, I had to get it. So, um, love it. Definitely want to start this. Add it to the pile. I saw Danielle got this, but this was already on my list to get because it's dark and it's kind of, well, it's not morbid. To me, my level of morbid is totally different um, than a lot of people because I've seen a lot of fucked up stuff working for fire. So yeah, my morbid level is probably really different than someone else. So, but I love this. Arsenic and old lace. It's a winner, people. So love this. Um, it's a movie I, I heard, I saw. So I'm gonna have to look this up. Um, are they, are they sisters that want the same guy? Is it a guy with two wives? Is this like a polygamy sort of thing? I'm really confused. So I'm gonna have to watch this um, and definitely start it. But I love the little um, spider webs. Those are awesome and the, uh, the chandelier. So yeah. Add it to the pile. This was, so those I purchased, I'm trying to remember when I got this. It doesn't matter. Sometime I got all this after the husband bought the boat. So time frame doesn't really matter. Next, this was from one, two, three. Um, so I done that Country Cottage Needle Works um, Christmas themed one that I had put into the state fair and I actually gave that to my parents over the weekend because I was tired of seeing it in my room here. So Merry Early Christmas to them, gave that to them. And then my husband's like, oh, are you gonna make my parents something? And I'm like, oh, do I really have to? But then I was like, hello, order one, two, three. So I am going to do um, Little House Needleworks Daisy Lane Cottage, home sweet home. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And I need to figure out, this I may take with me on the airplane on Wednesday because I need to figure out something to take, um, to stitch on. So maybe I'll take this because it doesn't have, it has five colors. So it's super easy um, and it's not a big piece. So I might be able to get a lot of this kind of out. Airplane chart. So now I got the fabric for this. I'm doing it on 32 count um, cafe mocha linen. The sun here sucks today. So Arizona must just be I don't know, it's maybe there's no autumn because here in Arizona, we don't um, do the whole 
fall back time time change um because we're rebels like that and are awesome so maybe we just don't do autumn here so yesterday was 95 um i believe today is going to be like mid 80s and then it's going to go back up again i think it's supposed to be like 97 on thursday i want to say that's what i saw on my phone so it's kind of overcast so um it's not as bright in here as it usually is. So yeah, chart, fabric, throw it in the pile. Um, and since I bought that, then I just went on my wish list and just click, click, click all the way down. Filigram, Moonlight. Um, I haven't seen anybody stitch this, but it totally caught my eye. And with how technology is nowadays, I know people have talked about these damn photos. You would think with a DLSR cameras, DSLR cameras, and Photoshop that they would be able to get these super clean, crisp photos. But it's kind of like hazy. Um, love the frame though. I might have to figure out how to get a frame like that. So yeah, got that. Um, doing this on stay out I'm not done yet um, vintage country mocha 32 count you like how I do that didn't even look up love that this is mod um, has modeling to it um, I'll keep it like this so I think that that's gonna look awesome. Um, primitive Needleworks Turkey and Pumpkin Pie. So I'm vegetarian. Um, 16 years, ethical reasons, not diet. I'm eating popcorn for God's sakes. So I saw this and just loved it. Turkey and Pumpkin Pie. She's got an ax. The pumpkin has feet. Hmm. I don't make pumpkin pie because Costco has a kick-ass pumpkin pie that's huge for six bucks and there's no way in hell that you can make a pumpkin pie as big as theirs for six bucks. So I make everything else for Thanksgiving. My husband does the turkey or whatever meat we decide to go with um, and then I just do all the sides. Doing this on raw linen. 32 count. Um, speaking of Thanksgiving, as I put all this stuff away, are you guys going? Do you guys stay in town? Um, I always cross my fingers and hope that Thanksgiving doesn't land on my birthday. My birthday is November 26th, so every few years it lands on my birthday. Um, so I always hope that then I don't have to be around family on Thanksgiving for my birthday. So trying to figure out, so I turned 30 last year um, and I went skydiving. Um, so my next thing on my bucket list, then my husband asked me, well, what do you want to do this year? And I said, I don't know. Skydiving kind of, you know, is up there and I don't know if I can think of anything to kind of top that. But I've decided um, the next huge thing, my next number one is swimming with sharks in a cage. Would I do it out of a cage? Probably. I'm crazy enough to do something like that. Um, but did you guys see on you, you can YouTube it, of course. Um, there was a guy in a, in a shark cage. The shark busted into the cage. Um, and then you see blood come up, but it's from the shark who had cut himself on the cage. And then the cages are obviously, you know, square um, or rectangle in shape. And you see the shark come up from, I'm not going to do that. That was bad come up from the top of the cage and wiggle its way out and then back into the ocean. Um, 
And so the shark swims off and they're still zoomed in on what had happened. And then you see like the bubbles from the scuba diver come up. So kind of rethinking that. And I thought, mm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Yeah, that was like a 30 second thought. And then I was like, whatever, I'd still do it. So swimming with sharks in a cage on my list is number one. Um, what else did I order? Just cross-stitch Halloween collection, 2011 to 2014, the DVD people. Nearly 200 patterns are now all yours. Not yours, mine. Um, Amazon Prime, so free shipping. Um, they delivered this while we were gone. It was actually supposed to come on two days, but it was three days, but whatever. Um, 25 bucks, I think this was. And I had done a in search of on Stash and Load looking for a few magazines. Um, and someone said, oh, you can just get the DVD of all of them. So got this. Um, break time, go take a drink. Um, this video is not actually being as long as what I thought. Um, should I do Vegas stuff that I got at Stitcher's Paradise or should I do one, two, three? Great, I'm so happy you guys responded to me and I was able to hear all of that. So, um, side note, I don't know why this just came into mind. I'm doing the Year of Whips through Soulful Stitchers and was assigned with the best stitching buddy ever, Miss Julie. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that got teamed up with somebody maybe in the US that's maybe over in Europe or some crazy distance like that. So I was like, that's awesome. Like I wanna get postcards from this, you know, some crazy place perhaps. Um, so I was looking all forward to getting, you know, somebody somewhere, not necessarily in the US, but it was like, whatever. So um, Melanie, you know, tagged me that here's your gal, contact her, vice versa. So private messenger, hey, stitching buddy, blah, blah, blah. So excited. Um, we kind of chit chat back and forth. Where do you live? Arizona. What? So do I. Oh my God, this is awesome. Then I'm like, where? I'm in Phoenix. She's like, I'm in Phoenix too. I'm like, shut the door. Then I said, then I gave like closer um, direction, crossroads. And she's like, oh, I'm only like 25 minutes from you, which is more like 15 if you drive like an a-hole. So yeah, my stitching buddy literally it's probably like 20 minutes away from me. So awesome. Um, so we need to get together. I've already told her this and she had a great idea of um, calling attention to all Arizona stitchers and maybe we all get together um, somewhere and, and stitch it up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. My stitching buddy lives super close near uh, near me and that will be able to meet. So I thought that was an awesome, awesome, awesome match. Um, one, two, three haul. It was so good. Came in a priority box, people. Just loveliness. Um, okay. You comfortable? We good? Awesome. Great. Perfect. Love it. Glad to hear it. Only thing I don't like about one, two, three stitch. Um, so got my order of everything that I had ordered and I thought they had messed up and sent me two charts. I was like, oh, score, I can do a giveaway 
um, since I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. What? But then I was looking at my invoice and if you click something to put into your cart to check out, they don't change it to two. They'll list it individually, one and one. So no, it wasn't an accident. I really ordered the same chart twice. So that'll be part of my thousand subscriber giveaway when I get there. So tell your friends, subscribe to me. Um, I know I got it for one here. Let me, I got my first week's dye works charcoal. Um, one of the variegation for, where is it? I think it was for this birds of a feather. Remember me? Love this. Love the colors. Um, love the skeleton has snakes in it. So when you go in a coffin, do they put snakes in there? Just figuring that out. Um, and the witch is pretty cool. And if you actually look close, she's wearing a mask. Um, so yeah, birds of a feather. And because I knew I was going to be doing a lot of, there's a lot of black in her dress and then the coffin as well. So ordered one charcoal and check that out for the variegation. Um, I guess I'll put that there because I just loved it so much. I just had to get two of these, these old bones, Lone Elm Lane. Um, two, love this. I'll be putting this in my medical bathroom. You'll understand why, just wait till the end. It'll fit perfectly. Um, so this is pretty awesome. This would actually be good to take on the airplane as well. Um, hmm. We'll have to see. So yeah, I got those. Um, by the Bay Needle Heart, Think Spring. I just love that. Love the frame on it too. But she's got all these, she's obviously thinking spring. Um, so yeah. Got that one as well. <sighs> Carriage house samplings, Christmas joyride. Mm -hmm. Not too bad on floss, but no, love that. So kind of love that everything's kind of jumping out of the way, the rabbit and whatnot. So got that. Um, if you're not a part of the Cool Kids group, the uh, New World Stitch Along on Facebook, request to join. I'll accept you. I am working on part three, which I'll show you in a moment um, with my whips. So I ordered part four and five. Part one was out of stock on one, two, three, but I ordered it anyway. And they said that it would take like five to seven days to get in and they shipped it to me like three days later, which I'm still, still waiting on. Maybe it'll come today. I also have an order from EBC Stitch coming too. Oh yeah, people, I got them coming. So here are the new worlds. Um, it's just a visit to town. Oh my God, those houses are gonna be a biatch. Why do they wear glasses and have eyes? And are there really houses like that that have like 27 colors? So, and then over the seas, can't wait to do this one. This will probably be my next one that I do. Um, but yeah, come join our group. You can do it, any order. Some people are doing them all on one piece of fabric. I'm doing them all on five separate and then framing all, all individually. Satsuma Street. Um, 12 days of Christmas. 
You can do them individually for the ornaments. Or you can make them just one big. So I'm just going to make them one big one. Love the bright colors on it and kind of the whimsical look of everything. Um, got that. What else? What else? I only have 45 minutes. God, I thought this would have been hours, so I feel like I'm talking fast, though. Um, so I have no idea what these fabrics are for. Um, I probably just kind of like close my eyes and just start clicking on one, two, three, like order, order. So I'll have to go through. I know it's for a lot of what I ordered. So usually when I buy a chart, I'll buy the fabric as well. If I know that I want to stitch it on what's recommended. Um, like I want to say that this, the Satsuma one, I did not order the fabric. And I don't know why I should have. Anyway, limestone, 32 count. Dirty. Blue spruce. I know this is for um, the New World, one of the pieces. Black Belfast. Oh my god, what was I thinking? Stitching on black. I don't even know what that one was for. Oh, the old bones one. Which I guess I could have done Ada. I probably have Ada in my stash. But why? So, yeah. The black is for old bones. And then Lamb's Wool Joblin. Um, not sure why. 28 count. So, I'll have fun. I gotta go figure out what the fabrics match up to. Um, break time. I need a nap. Go ahead, eat your food, whatever you're doing. The husband's gone. Kids are home. Hubby met up with his one guy friend that doesn't live too far. He was gonna pick him up and go wax the boat. Is the wax the boat maybe like slang for something? I don't know. So I think because he went to go wax the boat, I need to go order more shit. Cause let's say together people. This boat is the gift that keeps on giving to me. So, all right. Um, I'm like looking around like, oh, kind of lost my stitching bug for like a day, maybe. I don't know why. I think I was excited for Vegas and trying to figure out all that. And I don't know. I didn't stitch at all. It was, it was kind of funky. Um, but we were out somewhere and I had seen this puzzle on Hirschner's, but they wanted like 13 bucks for it. And I'm not a big puzzle person. Let's get up. Um, I did do a puzzle. It's over here. So when you come into my sewing room, I have this here um, that I did, and this is a puzzle. And then I just um, framed it. So cool. Um, but I did find this um, puzzle, which I love because it's Halloween. Um, trick or treat. But I found it, I think it was Walmart for like seven bucks. It's like awesome, 500 pieces. Um, I don't know how to, cause I can't flip it around. Well, we'll just do it this way. So I finished it. I did it on my cutting mat board to transfer it from my table down on the floor. So that's complete. I finished that up last night and I will do the same. I will uh, frame it and hang it up. I might hang it up year round. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think since I'm on the floor, what else can I show you guys? Um, Christmas gift. Don't tell my husband. He's had these photos 
in this long plastic tube for like the longest time and I was just tired of looking at this plastic tube in the closet. Um, so I took them out, these photos, and my husband, um, he has his own aerospace business and he works out of the house in his office. And these are all airplane prints. Um, obviously they're all rolled up, so it's kind of hard, but I'm gonna get those all framed up for him um, and get those to him to hang up into his office. All right, back. And I'm not gonna apologize if that made people sick. Take some Dramamine next time. Um, okay. Let's do, we're on it, so we might as well do it. Stitcher's Paradise, Las Vegas. It was like 15 minutes from off the strip. We stayed at the MGM. It was 15 minute drive. Totally worth it. Um, hit there on the way out and my husband's like driving and he's like, so like how long do you think you'll be in there? And I'm, I don't know. I mean, I've never been to an LNS. Yes, I'm an LNS virgin. Not anymore was a virgin, now I'm not. Um, that place is amazing. Um, you go in and there were like four ladies stitching and I said how jealous I was that they were sitting there stitching and I said that I had come from Phoenix to see the store. Um, there was stuff everywhere. And this is probably how all the LNS stores are. Um, because there's so much product with the charts and the stitched pieces up on the walls, the examples and thread and everything that it's just so much for a store to handle. And Gina, super sweet, one of the owners met her um, and the place was just loaded from floor to ceiling. And I went in and it was like, Oh my God, where do I start? Um, totally overwhelmed. I know I missed probably half of the stuff that was in there. Um, but my husband was like, well, I wanna fuel up before we get on the road to head back to Phoenix. And I was like, that's fine. Um, so he's like, well, I'll just drop you and I'll come back in like 30, 40 minutes. <sighs> it's like, breaking out in sweats. Okay, get through the store, 30, 40 minutes. So <laughs> luckily I didn't have my heels on, I had my flats on, which was good. I whipped through that store so damn fast. I was like getting on my phone and got on my one, two, three ABC wish list and was like, okay, do you have this? Great, put it in my pile. Okay, do you have this? Great, I put my purse down by the cash register. She started a pile for me. Um, so helpful. She asked what kind of designers I was into and she took me into the back and like snaked back around. I wouldn't even known this whole other area of the store was there. Um, and she had magazine, like the little boxes of filled with charts, all alphabetized um, in this room with a table and I was just going A through Z and whichever designer kind of popped out, I just grabbed it and started shuffling through the charts and would just throw them on the table and yes, I'll take it. So there are a couple now I regret that I didn't get. She had, um, Courtney collection, which I'm working on Nightmare. She had a Pelican one, the Pelican piece, and she had Mermaid's Folly, and I held Mermaid's Folly in my hand. And it's not that the, the price doesn't, doesn't matter to me, um, but it was thick. It was pages. And I opened it up and like pulled out one just to kind of like take a peek. And um, it was, it's intense. So I don't think I'm ready for Mermaid's Folly yet because it's a huge piece. I know a couple people are working on it. Um, they're trying to enable me to get it, but I don't think I'm ready. So maybe after I'm done with Nightmare, then maybe I'll do Mermaid's Folly. Um, 
or I'll do the Pelican one. I'm not really sure. But no, Stitcher's Paradise in Vegas. Loved it. Totally, highly recommend it. Um, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, so hubby texted me, are you done yet? And I'm like, I'm checking out, I'm paying. And then I did my little video and showed it for you guys. So let's see. Uh, here is, so yeah, a card. And I was happy that we went on a Saturday because Sunday, obviously, they're closed. So I'm happy we're able to go. All right. Plum Street Samplers Ghoul Tidings. Super cute. Her cats are pulling it. Love it. Um, and I love the little banner up at the top. So yeah, cool tidings. Similar to um, Harvest Delivery that I just finished up as well. Um, so I think those would be super cute hanging up on the wall um, in my entry. Cause yeah, people, it's hanging up year round. I'm saving these two for the last. That's right. Um, this, I might have a couple people yelling at me, okay? So, get your pens and papers, people, ladies and gentlemen. You guys collect notebooks? Bust out a notebook. Plum Street Samplers, Garden of Erie. Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. Look at that, awesome. At the bottom it says, this work wrought by me, and then you do your name in the year. I don't know if I'd put that. I don't know, because I'm not big into signing my works. So, but you can add it if you want to. But look how cute. And there's like a little vulture up in the tree and there's lightning. People! Garden of Eerie. Garden of Eerie. Um. Harvest Delivery, Plum Street. This one will go up on the wall too. Love the horse. I don't know why you would do basically all that white stitching on pretty damn similar piece of fabric. I think you need to do something a little darker. So um, I do not have fabric for any of these, but I will. So that is Harvest Delivery. Actually, no, it's not Harvest Delivery that I just finished up. What is the Halloween I did? I know people are yelling at me with it. I framed it, remember? Nope, out. Couple more minutes. Thank you, thank you. Um, I had seen this one before. Emily, do you have this? Is this what I saw in your video? Barbara Anna? My favorite apron. I kind of like this. I think it's super cute. I love her, I love her apron. Um, cannot, I cannot count my day complete till needle, thread, and fabric meet. I think a lot of us. But look at her apron. She has like these like creepy cherub angel bat babies they're bat babies okay they're bat kids bat kids they're naked the kids are naked and then they have like these wings with red hair they're like bat kids look um i'll definitely get some good variegated floss for this as well um because i think the variegated floss totally makes the apron um, again, on one, two, three, because she said, what do you like? And I said, hey, I only got like 15 minutes, so let's just throw it in. Quaker Mermaid. R-E-T-M. I don't know how to say it. Love the colors. Um, Quaker Mermaid. 
I'll definitely have to get a opalescent fabric for that. Um, love. That seems like a pretty thick one too. God, what did I get into? Um, you, you people know how I love my ink circles. I'm doing that Bad Neighborhood series. Um, which now thinking, yeah, I'm gonna have to check. Never mind. Um, ink circles get cracking. Oh, I should have seen if she had little alien schoolgirl. Ugh. That's it. Back in the car. Going to Vegas. So, do this. Love this. Um, okay. Terry. Terry, pay attention. Okay. Ready? Terry, ready? You ready? Okay. So, I had bought the first one, the Christmas Eve. Um, here, let me just show you. This, Nor Corbett. Okay, great. Terry, look what I got. What? Okay, they, so there's a series of these ones with, with the birds, okay? Love how this, the black, this filigree, and I love that the detail, that it's not connected. Um, again, I want to start off slow. I don't see myself doing any, anyway, I want to start off slow. So I was looking at this, it's not a lot of DMC floss. Um, there's beads, which I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do the beading. Who knows? I guess it depends on where it's at. Um, but obviously I'll just, oh, it's like on the, just on the corner, like on the ends of all these like little doodads and stuff. But that's easy enough to buy up on your own. Anyway, I thought, okay, this is easy. The bird's blue, the background's like this peach color, green. Okay, got this, love this. This is a series. There's a hummingbird one, just check it out. I believe, one, yeah, it's on one, two, three. Terry, ready? You ready? Look, Terry. Look what I got. Again, not into the mermaids, says the gal that just bought Quaker Mermaid. Hypocrite. Um, but I saw this, I had put this on my one, two, three list a couple months ago. And when I was going through my list to make an order months ago, I saw that this was a Mira. I thought, oh shit, took it off my list. Didn't even think twice about it because I know how Miras are. Um, but I saw this, the Tree of Hope. I love it, I don't the flowers and the tree. And I guess I just see that this will probably be a good first Mira to start with and kind of build up. Um, why do I say that? Because from the picture, the people that have probably stitched this are probably like, girlfriend, get ready. I guess because when I look at the photo, I see like the flowers are like, pink and light pink in, in the areas. And the stems of the flowers are green and light green. It doesn't look like it's crazy color heavy, which it's not. That's it. Um, there's water lilies and then Mill Hill beads. The tree, it's mostly, if you look, you can break it down into pretty good blocks of color coverage. So, look what I bought. I'm kind of excited though. So, boys. Oh no, you can hear that. Anyway, I think that's it. That's my haul. 
Um, looking through my notes. That's not all, because I know I have coming from ABC. I got one, two, three that owes me a few things. Um, so yeah, but that's my, he bought a boat. So I went and bought all kinds of stitching stuff haul. Hope you guys loved it. Um, let's see, whip updates. Um, so working on part three of New World. I'm not gonna undo it because it's on my thing. But did this bear last night? Okay, this fox. He's cute. Again, huge ass butterfly. Um, my son asked me why the bear was carrying a chicken drumstick. It's a fish. It's a fish. So, yeah. I love this tree here. The tree's pretty cool. And the, uh, the mushrooms. So, I have... I'm gonna show the chart. Yeah, you people, you're not gonna be able to stitch it out. So, I got trees left, and then this house that um, has probably about 17. Outside, they all have 17 colors. Um... My phone just switched over and now it's doing a second. So hopefully it's still recording. Hey! Hey! Knock it off! Oh my god, does anyone want my kids? They sleep through the night, they're not too picky eaters. They're toilet trained. So yeah, working on this nightmare. Um, okay, Abby, Emily, question. Emily, have you started a nightmare? I don't know, I can't remember. Um, oh, who's the other one? Um, Evergreen Needle, you're doing nightmare. Um, so I messed up somewhere and I don't know where because I hadn't had to frog anything. Everything was matching up. And then I'm working on this last week and I'm like, oh. so I need, I've stopped because I don't know where to continue or how to continue. So I'll show you what my problem is. I'm on page three of it. So yeah, over here is page three. Okay. Page three. I have, so green and pink, just ignore it. It's what I've done. So here I have two line, two rows that I have to do. Okay. Two rows. Same spot, but I have three rows here. Two on here on the chart. Let's see, let's hold this. Two on the chart. Hold on, yeah. But three opening on the fabric. What do you suggest that I do? So on the chart, if I follow it all the way across, I mean, obviously I'm gonna be off on this whole because I have two and then three on the fabric. So I'm not sure what to do. Do I, do I make something up on here to fill it in? I just, I mean, luckily, this part, when I finish it out, it's like the bridge of the nose. So it's not going to connect up with anything over here and then be, be off. But what do you suggest that I do? Thoughts, comments? Would totally appreciate it. Um, 
maybe I've just thought about this way too long and there's an obvious fix for it, but I'm so upset with myself that I have effed up somewhere and put in obviously an extra row. So maybe there's a quick fix and I'm just like so that I can't think of it. So let me know what you suggest that I do to maybe fix that. Thank you. Um, that's all I've been working on, just those two, honestly. Um, I wanna get a new world done. I wanna get the third one done before I break into oh, the next one but I'm kind of feeling like maybe I'm getting burnt out. Um, because I think in my head, it's like, okay, there's five parts. I've done one already. I'm almost done with this one. But there's no rush on this. It's like my personal thing. So I think I'm gonna put it away after this one I get done. Because obviously what I just got there's so many things that I want to start on it. Um, so that's it. I have no more, no more. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to get this all put together. Stay tuned, I'm gonna put in a little clip of my medical bathroom for you guys, for those that are interested. And yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. I can't believe I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. Um, I mean, I think I'm like 80 left to go. Um, but I love you guys for watching and your comments and your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Um, I just think we have like, like floss tube's almost like a hidden gem that we have found together. And there's not a whole, there's no nice in the world. I mean, it's very hard to come by these days. And I think floss tube is just one of those communities where we all get our craft. Cause not a lot of people can appreciate this, this hobby that's really honestly dying out. Um, and I think it's awesome seeing the variety of ages of people um, that do stitch all the way from this, you know, stitchy Bex who's seven years old to me that's 30 to some of our, you know, older floss tubers. So I think that's what is so awesome about this, this hobby. Um but I think there's a lot of great people in this group. And um, if we've had a rough day at work or home life, whatever's troubling us, I think we all can agree that floss tubes like our happy spot and our haven where we can go and watch someone's video and get you know, motivated to stitch again or make us laugh and forget kind of about the day or whatever the problem is that's bugging us. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'll make a video when I come back after my trip. Figure out an LNS maybe in Sacramento hit up. I know there's one not too far away um, where I'll be staying again. So I might have to take a little road trip. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll leave information on everything below. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys. So I told you I would give you a look into my medical bathroom. Um, I realized that this isn't for everybody, but I saw this idea on Pinterest and I loved it and totally went for it. So. Um, so this is our guest bath or half bathroom as you come into our house and the walls are kind of hard to see, but they're like a light gray. Wally, knock it off. Like a really light gray. Um, 
So here is what I call the medical bathroom. So I got this idea off of Pinterest. Um, a woman had done a wall all in encyclopedia pages and it was gorgeous because she had put in some of the photos and they were colored. Um, so you got like this pop of color with um, the black obviously and the white from the pages. So I was at a thrift store and came across this old book, um, Grey's Anatomy, and I um, obviously took out all the pages, but what I find really cool is that it belonged to um, like a nun. So yeah, nun with a Grey's Anatomy book. So got that for like eight bucks, um, took out all the pages. Um, got this corner shelf at Ikea and it fits perfectly. So took out the pages and I made sure that when I put them up, no two pages from the same chapter or within a few hundred pages um, were similar. So started up here in the corner and did the one. Then I went diagonal because I wanted a... I wanted them to overlap, but not in a way where you could tell. And I think if I just put it, um, like butted them up next to each other, it would have looked a lot more. I kind of wanted like a random look to it. And I really love how it looks. Um, I also made sure that there were plenty of just solid uh, writing pages and then enough um, pictures as well, dark and light. Um, so yeah, when you're here, if you guys ever come over to my bathroom, into my house and go to the bathroom, I have own reading material. Um, sinuses, let's see, part of the brain, cranial nerves, um, spine. Um, yeah, I had to put in a picture of a penis and a vagina, so they're in here somewhere. It's up there. Um, my husband said he'd kill me if it was like blatantly obvious, but I love the idea. Um, loved how it came out. There's our one. Um, so yeah, it's what I call my, my medical bathroom. And then of course got my, my skull. Um, so some people put like a lacquer over it. I decided not to, um, or actually we did, we did coat it with like a, like a poly, um, just to protect it. Um, but you can totally touch it and um, yeah, so there is my medical bathroom and I'll be putting uh, a couple, I think of cross stitches in here, definitely the old, these old bones. So, uh, thanks guys.